Hi beautiful Gemini, how are you doing darling? My name is Simply Valka and today honey I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot messages for August 16th Gemini to August 22nd. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading today, be sure to let me know Gemini in the comments below which cards resonate and how they do darling because that's how we keep up with you is through the comments Gemini. Also if you do enjoy this tarot reading today or you just enjoy my vibe honey, I would really appreciate it Gemini if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot and I always appreciate it when you do that extra step to support me but remember Gemini that I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you you know your situation better than I ever possibly could so take the cards that resonate leave what doesn't darling because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever I believe tarot cards weekly tarot readings are just here to give you some food for thought a perspective for you to be considering Gemini but never making these choices in your life because it's your life to live not mine and not these tarot cards so all that being said Gemini let's just jump into your weekly tarot reading darling shall we Let's see where it is you guys are currently at, Gemini. How you guys are feeling? We already, right off the bat, have the Five of Swords that slipped out for you, Gemini. So you're definitely in your head. Now, before I get too crazy, uh, darling, before I start getting too preachy with y'all, uh, we're going to be pulling some extra card, uh, two more cards for this before we really delve into this. Page of Cups coming in here, as well as the King of Cups. Gemini, it feels as if, like... <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but it's this, there's this heavy emphasis, this heavy anxiety, Gemini, over, I don't know if this is an anxiety over just the relation, yeah, it does feel like relationships in your life, but I can't quite tell if this is just like, for some of you guys, obviously, the Page of Cups is going to be representing for my single Geminis, uh, having some anxiety about your future, your love, in your, in your, in regards to your love life, of if you'll ever find love. Uh, but for the main majority, I do feel like just because with this King of Cups here, this lets me know of where it's like some type of relationship in your life is kind of getting you in your head right? With this Five of Swords. Now with this Page of Cups, this represents either new energy, a new person coming into your life, that's why I say with the singles, or in terms of like current relationships, which I feel is the heavy emphasis for most Geminis, darling, uh, the Page of Cups is talking about the deepening of a current situation. And, uh, you know, keep in mind, Cups do represent opportunities more than just emotions. So it could be even just you trying to figure out how to elevate yourself in your career, or what the next step forward is for you in terms of just uh, really bringing forth further um, fulfillment, I would say, uh, especially here. Now, if this is about a current situation in your life, I want to see why. Like, why are you in your head about this, right? Gemini, it does show to me, like, uh, just overall, like, and you know, this could just be a, your natural reaction, Gemini. I don't know. I, I'm admittedly, Gemini, I don't really know you guys too much, but I do just uh, get the sense of where it's like a little bit of natural just anxiousness. So we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Page of Wands, one more card coming out, and the Tower card coming out uh, for the Five of Swords clarifiers. So some of you guys, Gemini, you're, you're almost like in the sense of being... Uh, with something like shown to you, Gemini, I do feel as if this Nine of Pentacles here, something is kind of revealed to you of where you're just like almost being like, oh, should I walk away from this? Am I going to lose this, right? Because it could be vice versa where you're having anxiety about moving on from something or you're freaking out and wondering, being like, oh, am I going to have to move on from this, right? I do get this sense of overall anxiety in terms of something coming to an end, right? Page of Wands here, this is the sense, I do get this weird resistance. Uh, well, not resistance, I would say, Gemini, but I do get this uh, with this Page of Wands here. I do... I do feel on some level that you guys don't want to, Gemini, like, move on. Um, you don't want to or have things end the way that they currently are, right? And that's what's freaking you out, or that's what's kind of getting you in your head. Let's not say freaking out. Ten of Pentacles, because you care about this a lot. There's a lot of investment involved with this. And so for you, you're really just trying to get to the sense or like really thinking rather, Gemini being like, all right, like, what do I need to do to fix this? What do I need to do? Because I do see even with this Nine of Pentacles, you're observing and you're just like, all right, what is the next right step for me to do to actually like... Um, better the situation, right? Rather than make things worse. So, but here's the message here, Gemini. I do feel as if 
Um, because of this Page of Wands and the Page of Cups coming forward, I do feel like this is more so of a message of just like, like one, you can't fight the tower moment, darling, right? What's gonna be is gonna be, right? Uh, let the cards fall where they may, darling, right? You can't really control that and don't blame yourself for that if that's what's going on in your head internally right now. What I do feel for you, even though you care about the situation a lot, Page of Cups, I mean, pay, the, both of these pages representing to me just new energy. So I do feel as if uh, whatever your situation is, Gemini, do not be afraid of new energy coming in. I know um, it's easier said than done, especially when you're the one living the life, uh, Gemini. But I do feel as if... Um, this destruction, this little bit of chaos that you're experiencing and probably will be for a little bit um, in your life, it's something that you can't really fight. I feel like this is part of like your destiny, honey, if we're gonna be that dramatic. Uh, it's one of those, you know, it's kind of like a growing pain, I would say, uh, Gemini. But how does this turn out for you, right? Let me, instead of me being preachy, darling, how does this turn out for my Geminis? Right, whatever it is, like I know you care about it a lot, Gemini. Page of Swords coming in. This card came up in the pre-shuffle uh, for you. Page of Swords, and as well as the Magician card, the Moon card, as well as the Chariot card. So how this turns out for you, Gemini, is I do feel. Hmm. And take note again. Another page. I just now realized, like this is the third page involved in this energy. So it's nothing but new energy uh, for this for uh, for you rather, Gemini. Now with this Moon card and the Chariot card, this is giving giving me very much so, Gemini, this sense of where you kind of have to. Um, it's like a last minute decision, last minute takeoff, Gemini. So I do feel as if. Um, let me uh, pull a couple more just advice for this, Gemini. I do feel as if that um, something's going to be Ten of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Now, Gem I really try to avoid these types of readings, Gemini, because I just don't. You know, it's not my style of a reading, but I do feel as if, like, whatever it is that you're kind of clinging on to currently, I am being shown something where it's like something that might, uh, that's going to reveal itself to you that might hurt a little bit, right? With this Ten of Wands, inconvenience, we'll just say, weigh you down a little bit. Whatever is happening here, I feel like something's going to reveal itself and it makes it a lot easier for you to run away, walk away. But it's not without, like, a little bit of a broken heart. It's not without something kind of weighing heavy on your mind still. So what I would really want to just say to you, Gemini, in regards to this, whatever the situation is for you, some of you guys, it's going to be about a relationship. If it is, I have to be truthful. Like something, I feel like something shady is going to be ending up revealing itself to me. Like, all right, like, you know, that's going to be like the final sign that you need to be shown to be like, all right, I need to move on from this person, right? To welcome in new energy. Because all those pages we can't ignore, Gemini. Um, in terms of a job, I do feel as if, if you've been having this craving or this desire, Gemini, of moving on, or you've been getting the sense or changing things up, I feel like whatever it is, I feel like whatever your current situation is, it's going to be made a little bit more, like it's going to be made, continuously be made more uncomfortable until you walk away from it, uh, Gemini, and focus on new energy, whatever it is, right? So enough of that, darling. Let's get into the good stuff uh, for you, Gemini. What good things are in the works for you, uh, Gemini? Let's see here. King of Pentacles tries to come out. Try Not try, did. With the Hermit card. Hmm. And the Page of Pentacles. So, Gemini, I do get this sense here of where... You know, even after, like, I do feel like this is kind of like an after effect, uh, Gemini. I do feel as if after the tower moment happens, after, like, all the chaos ensues and all this, I do feel as if there's, like, a strong earth energy uh, coming in, the strong, at least stable energy coming in and really uh, bringing forth some consistency, some stability into your life. Now, in some senses, it's going to be for a person, right? Page of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, this very much so reads to me someone, it doesn't have to be an earth sign. I always like to say that, you know, <laughs> well, it's not my business how tarot readers do tarot readings. I, you know, let's just acknowledge, like, it can be anything. Like, it could be any zodiac sign with how many people are receiving a general reading. But I want to point out with this type of energy, this gives me the personality of someone that's very much so uh, more reserved, quiet, um, This the silent, extremely dependable ones. Page of Pentacles refers to, uh, is this sense of, like, something opening up, right? A new energy opening up during in this midst of darkness. So even if it's not about a person, Gemini, this is showing, showcasing to me, like, after, like, all the chaos ensues and path starts really just opening up, lighting its way for you to start walking through. So let's get into that Page of Pentacles, right? 
and see what clarifiers we can get. I do feel as if we want these four, surprisingly. Two of Cups, so really honing in for my uh, Geminis that are in first to like relationships, powerful. Judgment card coming in. Five of Wands, as well as the Six of Wands. So Gemini, it's like, it's not a weird message, but it's oddly enough, people, like a lot of attention is on you after the tower moment. Like I see you kind of in your shell, uh, Gemini, but for some reason, because of you being in your hermiting phase, kind of just to yourself, a lot of energy just starts gravitating towards you, uh, <laughs> Gemini. And with this five of wands here, this was inverted for you. So this is show showcasing to me where it's just like, while you start, the moment you start minding your own business, it's almost as if they're just like, oh, Gemini is doing their own thing. Let me go. Let me just go see what's up, right? And two of cups, six of wands. Like even in terms of outside of people, this is new opportunities being shown to you, being presented to you, right? Um, six of wands is quite literally just a victory spotlight card, judgment card coming in. This is about action. Um, big action as well. And so overall, Gemini, I just see this as like, while I know you have some anxiety about this chaos coming to a close or just this chaos ensuing and really having things just crumble around you, Gemini, right? And again, I acknowledge it's easier to for me to just say like, girl, calm down your story gets so much better compared to actually living that experience, right? I understand entirely, Gemini, but it's really after that moment, all those page energies, because pages represent new energies, like, off, like after that moment, all that page energy that came in for your reading there, Gemini, is just going to come through. You have a lot of attention on you. You have a lot of opportunity presenting itself for you. And now that I'm thinking about it, I think we literally pulled all the pages. We pulled the page of uh, pentacles, the page of cups, the... Did we? I think we pulled... Yeah, I feel like we literally pulled every single one. Yeah, page of cups, Gemini, page of wands. We have... <laughs> Page of Pentacles, and then didn't we have the Page of Swords here? Yeah, Page of Swords. My Geminis are probably all just sitting here and being like, okay, Velka, come on now. We are we clearly see it. But I just really appreciate how you guys literally got all the pages without like even like a second deck um, involved at all. So really, I just want to say like you're having this tower moment happening in your life, Gemini, because you're making space. Spirit is making a lot of space for you. So take that as you will. Don't shoot the messenger, honey. All right, now, Gemini, let's get into speaking of your spirit guides and your ancestors. Let's see what they, what messages they have for you this week, my beautiful Gemini. What messages do your spirit guides and ancestors have for you for August 16th to the 22nd? Right now, we have the High Priestess card coming in here. Pay attention to the signs. Be connected to your spirit guides. They really are trying to guide you right now, Gemini. Seven of Cups coming in here. Girl, I don't know if you can hear that horn right now, but whew, we're going to keep going through the obnoxious drivers. Four of Cups coming in here. So distractions, distractions, Gemini. You have a lot of distractions in your life. If you feel as if that you are feeling lost right now, I would kind of just challenge you and just say, well, how, how connected are you with your spirit guides, with your ancestors? When is the last time you meditated or consciously tried to connect with them and receive guidance from whatever uh, belief system that you subscribe to, Gemini? In this dynamic, this is like, you know, they're trying to present the way to you. They're trying to let you know, hey, pick this cup over here, but you have to pay attention. You have to look and see. Seven of Cups, like you have all these options and you don't know which one contains the rainbow, darling, but it's right here. You just got to look the other way, Gemini. But And High Priestess card, you're doubting your, either you're doubting your intuition or you're not paying attention to your intuition, Gemini. And that's the key component here that I want you to be focusing in on. So if you are feeling lost currently, Gemini, if you are not sure what the right decision is, connect to your spirit guides, connect to your ancestors because they're trying to reveal the answer to you, right? Even if it's not through your intuition, Gemini, you know, spirit will work in a multitude of ways. Maybe it's going to be a certain sign presented to you, right? Uh, maybe you're going to be starting to see a specific type of bird um, constantly popping up in like your feed online or something like that, right? You're going to be receiving, I feel as if you're going to be receiving constant and you have been receiving consistent consistent signs, Gemini, on like what is the next step forward for you. So yeah, let's just 
uh, move on from that. Because I kind of feel like you get the point, Gemini. I don't need to really hone in on that too much more. All right, now, Gemini, let's get into now your social situation. In your, this could be platonic or romantic. Let's see how people are perceiving you currently right now, Gemini. Now, we're going to be, I'll be trying my best to really hone in on the energy, but it's up to you, Gemini, to figure out who this is talking about. This is not going to be reversible. Could be you, could be them energy, darling. Uh, Gemini, it's just going to be straight what I get. And if it doesn't connect, it's not so okay, darling. It's not going to always connect. So we already had the Hanged Man come out, Ten of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. I guess I should show you these cards, Gemini. So how people are perceiving you right now, Gemini, I do feel as if... Gemini, people are really seeing you... Hmm. It's almost as if people that you were, like, kind of soft to before Gemini or, like, you kind of always, like, filtered yourself around, they're kind of seeing this new side to you, Gemini, that's always been there. But it's almost as if they're just now, like, perceiving you, Gemini, in this in a stronger sense of being like, whoa, like, Gemini is, like, a bad, like, a little baddie, you know? Like, and I do feel like it's in a positive way. Ten of uh, With this Ten of Cups and the Eight of Wands, they see you in a very empowered place. Um, definitely have some strong emotions attached to you, Gemini, and this hanged man. So what are they to you, right? This person thinks, well, like, whatever this energy is, this per they think extremely highly of you. So what are they to you, Gemini? We have the Four of Pentacles, someone that you don't really talk to. Death card, you don't talk to them. I mean, you don't talk to them. Empress card. All right. So, <laughs> I'm, it's not fun. I mean, I get it. I mean, it's funny to me, honey. I guess I'm going to own that. It is, I find it funny because I was just like, oh, do you talk to them, Gemini? And then death. And I'm like, oh, well, nope. Uh, yeah, four of pentacles, death card coming in here. I don't feel like you talk to them anymore, uh, Gemini. Empress card coming in here. I feel like this is, this is more so like a situationship. Now, like, and when I say this, I guess I should clarify in the sense of, like, maybe you had, like, a friendship or, like, a relationship that was kind of like a fling, didn't really last that long, right? You know, or things kind of... I feel as if this is a situation where it's, like, nothing really happened. Like, you guys didn't end on bad terms, but it kind of just, like, silently fizzled out um, for this, right? It was just, like, a time... It was just a point in time in your life where someone was extremely relevant, but they're no longer in your life anymore. What happened with this, though? Now I'm being nosy, uh, Gemini, right? What happened with this, real quick? How did this go? Ace of Pentacles. So you guys have just had different paths, different callings, different objectives, different goals in the Emperor card. Yeah, it does feel like, I don't feel like this is really drama related at all, uh, Gemini. I feel as if you guys had just different desires, different passions, and you guys just kind of naturally like distanced apart. But they're noticing what it is that you're doing, uh, Gemini. They're kind of just being like, oh, wow, I didn't know Gemini was just this much of a baddie. Um, maybe if they perceived you this way beforehand or they saw the true you beforehand, they... Let me not. Let me stop projecting my own opinion on it. But uh, yeah, Gemini, I don't feel like I need to draw any more cards. Cards. I don't feel like I need to draw. That's my sign to close out this reading, Gemini. Because this happened with Libras as well, where I just at the end I couldn't speak. So I love you so much, Gemini. I hope you found some tarot cards that resonated. Remember to be sure to check out your monthly tarot reading for August if you haven't seen it already, Gemini. I also do weekly uh, personalized. I do weekly tarot readings for everybody, but I do private tarot readings. It's linked down on my website down below, simplyvelka.com. Next to my social medias, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, all that just being uh, Simply Velka, Gemini. But I love you so much. Since I can't be speaking no more, I'm struggling with that i'm going to close this reading out and i wish you all the love and all the luck gemini bye